A leadership shakeup at Twitter. Chief Executive Jack Dorsey announcing that four executives have voluntarily decided to leave the social media company. So joining us now to break this down is Mark Spoonauer, editor in chief at Tom's Guide. Mark, thanks for joining us today. Thank you. So how big of a blow uh, is this leadership change at Twitter uh, and to Jack Dorsey? Uh, well, I think you know one of the questions that you ask yourself is who's left. <laughs> so they've lost yeah. like a someone who's high up in, in HR, uh, engineering head, a product lead, media lead, and they had someone who was heading up Vine, one of the more uh, you know areas of the business with a lot of potential, going over to Google to work on VR. So I think in the short term, there's going to be a lot of like head scratching in terms of who's heading up what part of their business. Yeah, certainly, and certainly Wall Street analysts seem to be having the same reaction right now. We've already seen steeple downgrade shares of Twitter uh, in light of this news. And actually, if you look at shares of Twitter, they hit a fresh all-time low uh, just last week. So what are some of the biggest challenges for this company? I, I think it's really about broadening the base. The fact that Instagram has surpassed Twitter with about 400 million versus 300 million active users, that really tells you a lot because I think with Instagram, there's a reason for being beyond news. It's all it's very specific about you know sharing photos and, and things like that. Uh, but I think it, a lot of people just don't understand how to use Twitter. I mean, it's good at news, but what else? There are some bright spots for the company, like Periscope in terms of live streaming video, but they're really just starting to take advantage of that. Yeah, and you just mentioned Instagram. Uh, do you see Twitter ever becoming a, as big of a mainstream hit as Instagram or Facebook? What would happen? How would it have to get there? Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, Jack Dorsey is talking about some little things like opening up the character limits and maybe getting rid of the reverse chronological order of your feed. But those are just really small steps that they, that they need to take. If they really want to be taken seriously as a media company, they really need to take video more seriously. So what can they do with Periscope? And some people are talking about an acquisition by a media company like News Corp. I don't think the likes of Facebook would take over because in a way they've already won. <laughs> uh, but I, I do think they're going to have to really evolve the platform because in a way it really hasn't changed all that much in the last few years. Okay, and in light of all of this, perhaps the biggest money question that investors are keying in on, where do you see Twitter a year from now in light of this? Is it a company that gets taken over? Is it a company that goes through a successful turnaround? What's next? Yeah, in order for them to be acquired, which is a real possibility, they're going to have to be able to monetize their users. So whether that's through advertising or shopping op opportunities, maybe it's a partnership with someone like Pinterest, I think they really have to figure out how to make money from those, which, which is a really large number of 300 million people. But in the meantime, you have all these other companies that are nipping at their heels. Even Facebook over this weekend, they launched a sports stadium so people could, in a way, you know, tweet <laughs> to their Facebook mm -hmm. friends only about what they thought about the playoff game. So whatever they're going to do, they're going to have to do it quick. Yeah. Well, Mark Spooner, thanks for talking to us about this today. Thank you for watching. I'm Morgan Brennan. Have a great day. Hey, YouTube fans. I'm Landon Downey from CNBC. Thanks so much for checking out our channel. Here you'll find videos packed with all the info that you need to be smarter about your finances. Be sure and subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me to see CNBC's original series, Young Money, Tech Bet, Kramer's Mad Money, and all the latest from CNBC.